In this video, we are going to talk about how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide complex numbers. A complex number is a number in the form a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. They can be integers, they can be fractions, they can be decimals. I've chosen some examples down here that are mainly just uh, integers. So here we have 3 plus 2i, that's a complex number, and I have 5 minus 7i, that's another complex number, and we're going to talk about how to add these two complex numbers together. I've made these numbers color-coded to kind of match up here and show you how they are uh, in the form a plus bi. So a couple facts from complex numbers that we have to remember is that the square root of negative 1 is i, and i squared is negative 1. Now when we do the multiplication and division, the i squared equal negative 1 is going to be an important fact that we're going to want to use. But we're not going to put negative 1 back in for i because we want our answers to be in the form a plus bi. And really it could be plus or minus, but b would be a negative number and then it would look like a minus. Like this is 5 minus 7i, so you could think of that as 5 plus negative 7i. So technically the b value here is negative 7. Maybe I should have colored this negative or this minus sign as blue to highlight the fact that the b value is negative 7. All right, well let's get on with it. Um, adding complex numbers is very, very easy. It's just like combining like terms. I've put these complex numbers in parentheses to signify that they're two complex numbers. But in this case, the parentheses really don't do anything because we have an addition sign between the parentheses. If I were to think about distributing something into these parentheses, it would just be 1. And so I just end up with this. All right. I can rearrange these terms because of the properties of addition being commutative. And then I can do what we are used to doing, which is combine like terms. All right. So I could write 8 plus negative 5i to show that the a value is 8 and the b value is negative 5. Or a little more concisely, I could write that as a 8 minus 5i. So notice this complex number plus this complex number gives me another complex number. We call that closed. The complex numbers are closed under addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. What that means is if you add two complex numbers, you should get another complex number. If you subtract two complex numbers, you should get another complex number. All right, maybe you want to try this one over here. Pause the video and give it a try. And then start the video when you're ready. All right, so pretty simply here, we're just going to remove the parentheses, which we can do with addition. And you don't have to rearrange these to come up with the answer. You can kind of do it in your head. Uh, combine like terms. And we get the complex number negative 4 plus 3i. All right, that's addition. Let's look at subtraction, subtracting complex numbers. Well, I bet you can imagine that subtracting complex numbers is going to be pretty much the same as adding. The only difference is now we have a negative in front of the parentheses. We have a minus in front of the parentheses. So we do need to distribute this negative into both parts of this complex number, sort of like distributing a negative 1. Oops, that was kind of an ugly 1. Let's try that again. Uh, distributing a negative 1 in front of this parentheses. If you want to put a 1 there to kind of remind yourself of what you're doing, that's fine. So then you'd have negative 5 and plus 7i. That's really the only place that you need to be careful is right here. And make sure you're distributing this negative and getting that positive sign right there. So we're going to combine like terms. The 3 take away 5. The real number part of the complex number gives me negative 2. And then the imaginary part, 2i plus 7i, gives me 9i. And that is a complex number in complex form. All right, if you want to try this subtracting one on your own, you can pause the video and start it when you're ready. Well, let's see what we get here. First thing we need to do is distribute this negative into the second parentheses. So we're going to end up with negative 2 and then plus i, or minus 2 plus i. So this is like 1i right here because there's no coefficient written. And we know that it's 1. It's understood to be 1 because 1 times i is just i. 
We're going to combine the real number parts. Negative 6 take away 2 is negative 8. And the imaginary part, 4i plus 1i is 5i. And we have a complex number. All right, so far so good. Let's try multiplying. Now this is going to get a little more complicated, but if you look at these problems here, these two complex numbers, this should remind you of something. It looks like a binomial times a binomial. It looks a lot like when you did 3 plus 2x times 5 minus 7x. And as a matter of fact, we are going to approach the problem the same way. You could think about foiling this. So we're going to take 3 times 5, then we're going to do 3 times negative 7i, then we're going to do 2i times 5, now we're going to do 2i minus 7i. All right, let's see what we get. 3 times 5, 15, 3 times negative 7i would be 21i, 2i times 5 would be 10i, and 2i times negative 7i would be negative 14i squared. Okay, well, let's see what we've got here. We've got four terms. It looks like we have some like terms here. Right? we got some terms with i's in them, so let's combine those together. That gives me negative 11i, but now i got this i squared term over here. This number right here, written with an i and an i squared, that's not a complex number. It doesn't look like a plus or minus bi. I don't want an i squared in there. All right, so this is where this guy comes in. This very important fact right here, whenever we have an i squared, we want to replace that with a negative 1. Okay, so this is going to be minus 14 times negative 1. Now that's going to clear up our problem of having an i squared. It's going to change that to a positive 14. And when we combine the 14 and the 15, now we have a number in comp that's a complex number. All right, a complex number times a complex number should give another complex number in this form, a plus bi. And the only way to make that happen is to make this substitution with the i squared. And basically all that's going to do is change your sign. When you had a negative 14, now it's going to become a positive 14. All right, why don't you give this one a try over here. Okay, so if we FOIL this out, we're going to get negative 12 plus 6i, because we have, well, let me write this out. So we got negative 12, and then we have negative 6 times a minus i, or you could think of it as plus a negative i. That's going to give you like a negative times a negative is a positive. And then we're going to do 4i times 2, which is 8i. And then this is the kind of tricky part here. we got to do 4i times minus i, and that's going to be negative 4. Oh, I lost my color coordination there. Negative 4i squared. So remember, this i squared... We're going to replace that with a negative 1. So this is going to become a positive 4. This last term is going to become a positive 4. So we have negative 12 plus 6i plus 8i plus 4. And we combine like terms. We get negative 8 plus 14i, which is a complex number. So multiplication is a lot like foiling. You're good at foiling. Everybody loves foiling. Big difference here, you just have to remember to replace the i squared with a negative 1, and then you're home free. Okay, last operation is division. Now, this is a little tricky here. This is a little more work. You have a complex number, 3 plus 2i, divided by another complex number, 5 minus 7i. Now, I wrote this as a fraction, but, you know, I don't... You might encounter the problem written like this. I, honestly, I don't really see it written like this very often. But if you did encounter the problem written as you know, a division, you'd want to write it as a fraction. So here is the trick for this guy. Do you remember something called the conjugate? The conjugate? The conjugate of a plus bi is... 
A minus BI. And when you multiply conjugates together, something kind of cool happens. So the trick to doing the multiplication is, or the division, excuse me, is to multiply the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. All right, so here's my denominator, 5 minus 7i. What's the conjugate of that? Well, that would be 5 plus 7i. Now, I can't just multiply the denominator of a fraction. That would not create an equivalent value. I have to, whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator as well. So this business I have in purple here, 5 plus 7i over 5 plus 7i, that's equivalent to 1. I'm multiplying by 1, so I'm not changing the value of my initial fraction here. All right, kind of maybe hard to see what's going to happen and why I'm doing this. So let's, let's go through it. You'll see why we're doing this. Remember, we're trying to get an answer in the form a plus bi. So we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. All right, here we go. We have two foilings to do. We're going to have to foil the top, and we're going to have to foil the, the bottom here. So let's just write two big, let's write a big fraction bar. I'm just going to do the top now. Actually, we already did it on this one. Same, same problems. 3 plus 2i times 5 minus 7i. Oh, no, that was 5 minus 7i. Now we're doing plus. Thought I might save us some work, but that's okay. We love it. We love to foil. All right, here we go. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 7i is 21i. 2i times 5 is 10i. And 2i times 7i is 14i squared. Now I'm going to take a little shortcut here, okay? We practiced over here multiplying, and you might want to not do this shortcut till you're super comfortable with it, but I think you guys might be ready here. So 2i times 7i is positive 14i squared. I'll just write it up here, positive 14i squared. But what I'm going to do in my head is just get rid of the i squared and change the sign. Okay, that's all the i squared does. You can remove the i squared is equal to negative 1. So you have negative 1 times 14 is negative 14. Okay, in the denominator we have 5 times 5, which is 25. 5 times 5. 5 times positive 7i is positive 35i. Negative 7i times 5 is negative 35i. See what's going to happen there? And then negative 7 i times 7i is negative 49i squared, which I is just going to change to positive 49 when you substitute negative 1 in for the i squared. It's just going to change the sign. All right, let's see what we have. In the numerator, we have 15 take away 14, that's 1, and then we have 31i. And in the denominator, the i terms here are going to zero out. It's going to be a zero. And we're just going to be left with 25 plus 49, which is 74. Now this is why we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, because when you multiply by the conjugate, you're going to end up with just a real number in the denominator. And the way you get the number now in complex form is to into a plus bi form is to split this apart into two different pieces so 1 over 74 plus 31 over 74 times i and that's how you get it in complex form okay and the only way that's going to happen is if we end up with just a real number in the denominator and the only way that's gonna happen is if we multiply by the conjugate in the denominator that's why we're doing it all right we got one more left why don't you pause the video and give this one a try and then start it when you're ready to see the answer okay so the denominator is 2 minus i the conjugate of that is 2 plus i I'm gonna multiply the top and bottom by 2 plus i I'm going to foil each of those. Now let's work this way, just for a change. So negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Negative 6 times i is negative 6i. 4i times 2 is positive 8i. 
4i times i is 4i squared, positive 4i squared, which when I replace the i squared with negative 1, I get negative 4. In the denominator, we get 2 times 2 is 4, and we're going to get positive 2i and a negative 2i, negative 2i here. All right, then we're going to go negative i times positive i, which is negative i squared. The i squared is negative 1, so we end up with a positive 1. That's the, only, that's the tricky part right there. So let's talk about that one more little time here. Negative i times positive i is negative i squared. Replace the i squared with negative 1, so you have subtract negative 1, which is positive 1. All right, hopefully you got that. That's the tricky part there. All right, let's finish this off. In the numerator, we have negative 12 take away 4 is negative 16. Combine the i's together is 2i plus 2i. In the bottom, we just have 5, because when you multiply by the conjugate, this imaginary part zeroes out. You That should happen. That's why we multiplied by the conjugate. So now to write it in complex form, we're going to split it up to the real part and the imaginary part. So the negative 16 fifths, all right, that's the a value. And then the 2 fifths, that is your b value. That's your b value. So we're in the form a plus b i. And that's important. All the answers to addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of two complex numbers should result in another complex number. All right, I hope that was helpful. That was fun. Enjoy your operations on complex numbers.